All right, back again, Luke here. And today we've got out the old Panic Custom Control Box Super Gun, the Sega STV arcade board, and I figured we could put in this game here. Purikura Dai Saksen. So, let's pop this on and play some of that. Now this is a quite rare and uh, unusual side-scrolling kind of beat-em-up here for the Sega STV. Pop this on. And it does have a little bit of a story to it, so I'll let you take a look at that. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this one okay. But uh, this game is not very common, and it's one of the few side-scrollers that, uh, side-scrolling action games, platform games for the system. We'll let the intro roll through here so you guys can take a look at it and listen to it. our introduction so we'll hit the old start button and at the beginning here you'll notice that there are three characters that we can choose from we have Kurara we have Grey and we have Kirara so this is probably one of those characters that many people want to see and take a look at but. so I'm gonna try to help this world here and this is our first stage that we'll start off in. Now this game can be a little bit tricky to get used to. There are three buttons to it. Uh, to get used to the directional pad here, or the joystick, um, with the controls can be a little bit rough. One of the things that uh, you'll notice here is uh, sliding all over the place. This is one thing that's quite common. But if you do hold down the fire button, you can move or you can strafe. So depending on whatever angle that you're on. So if I can, as you can see here, just by holding down the fire button, you can actually get a better grip um, for shooting and for destroying enemies here. You do have three different powers. This is your first one. The second one is a hand that you can use to pound stuff here by using button two. And this one's really common, really handy when you uh, go to try and get big objects like this that have items in it. If you just try to shoot it, it'll take forever. The pets here will give you extra power-ups and whatnot. But you'll find that just by pressing and holding down on the fire button, it will save you a lot of hassle for fighting. And you won't die so quickly. <laughs> Come here, cat. But usually there's different power-ups. You can get some power-ups which will change your character into uh, like a human form for a limited time. You can get larger power-ups here which uh, the fireballs will actually be stronger. And our third one here, actually if we just use our hand to try and break some of this here, we'll get some power-ups. We'll use the third one here when we need to. Usually when there's a lot of enemies on screen, it works out best. As you can see, we've got our power up here. But it's a really kind of fun, quirky uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up, which does have a lot of uh, kind of strange bits to it. But that's what makes the game quite good. And as you can see here, here's our human form, limited time only. the end of that but you can strafe in any direction here just by holding it down 
And it's really interesting, just the design of this game in general. Really keeps you in that fantasy mood. And all the the points that you can collect here are animals of some kind. And here, this will be the next stage here. I believe maybe this will be our boss. It gives you a hint here, tells you the advice, what to do. So, to kill off the kids here of this monster robot. And if you can do it quick enough, you can actually get through it. I think this guy comes back. You can get some points here for the last part. And that's the end of the first stage. Probably can bend this back even a little bit more here so you guys can see the top. But it's a quite entertaining, fun little game here. Grow up! <laughs> Gotta love it. So this is our next stage here. And you'll notice that the uh, the graphics for this game are quite good. Uh, it looks really, really nice, really bright and vibrant. The gameplay, like I said, as long as you do a lot of the uh, strafing in the game by holding down the fire button, you'll find that it's a lot easier to play. If not, you'll find yourself just really struggling to try to get the correct angle here for the shots. see our, um, our fairy character here has uh, changed form as well. Another thing that does help you, now that you have a sidekick, we are birds. But, uh, you know, you'll find yourself just holding down the fire button here, and you think that um, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit too much because you're just holding down the fire button. Oh no! I'm not dying here. Because that's the only noise that you hear throughout the game, but without it, I mean, you'd, you'll die so much quicker. It's hard to get uh, realigned or recentered here. But yeah, nonetheless, just wanted to share with you guys a bit of a look at what Purikura Daisaksen here looks like for the Sega STV. And is a cool game um, and a rare one like I said it's very uncommon but uh, if you do find it regardless of I suppose price if you're up for it and you'd like to add this one to your collection I would recommend picking it up as you don't see it very often so it may be kind of like a once in a very long time chance to pick this game up I think that's the end of it, but yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good for right now. Let's try and change it up with one of the other ones. But, uh, different weapons here. But it is, it's kind of a, a cute beat-em-up here. 
our special move here. Should uh, clear most of them down quite a bit. And didn't, uh, didn't get the egg there. This is our second boss, I believe. This game is not very long. Um, it's quite short. Kind of like uh, anyone who's played... Uh, what is it? Uh, did it? Spin Masters for the Neo Geo. Very similar to that in stages and uh, you know length of time that you wind up spending on it, playing it. But it is fun, and it's definitely worth it. So. Miracle, Advent uh, Miracle Adventure. See if we can just cheat through here a little bit. some time here to, uh, to finish off. There we go. There's a little bit of uh, some sonic, uh, <laughs> sonic action going on there with all the animals. But yeah, that's about uh, all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. leave it here guys and uh, see you again here soon.